Welcome to AAA. This is a video to give you a guide on how to change from old uh, fluorescent lights to LED lights. Okay, here we got the old uh, 2 times 20 watt fluorescent deck light, which a lot of you will have. As long as these lights are still, uh, the casing is still waterproof, then there's nothing wrong with them. Just open it up. In here, we've got the original 220 watts. So just pull these out. Now, I'm just going to open up the casing. Turn it over. I've done this demonstration a few times, so uh, some of these wires are cut, but yours won't be cut. What you've got is your main feed, your main feed coming in, and then your two feeds up to your power converters, stroke converters, whatever you want to call them. Okay, what we need basically with LED is we need negative one side of the bulb, and then live the other. So what we basically got to do is chop these out first. So as you can see, there's wires. If you trace the wires here from this, you've got four, two coming off each side. So what you need to do is sort them out and peel them back. So you put all the four together, like I've already done there. So just uh, put the four into one, and then we'll join up to that in a minute. Bend that out of the way. So this then goes to your inverter, which we don't need. So just bend them back for now. This one will go to the other one. Now, if you run across, you'll see that it comes into the live and the negative side. We're just going to disconnect that. Please make sure the power is isolated before you uh, disconnect the live. Let's bend that back. And then what you'll have, you've got four wires, uh, again, coming this side, two off each one. So what you need to do is trace it back, where they come out is just chop them and join them into bunches of two, so again you'll have four wires. So now this is all out of play. So what we'll do, we'll just remove the power converters. I'm using this electric screwdriver because obviously it's going to be a long video otherwise. If you haven't got an electric screwdriver, a hand screwdriver will do exactly the same. Now, so these two units are loose, so you can literally just pull them out, take them away. Same with the second one. You'll be left with some nuts and bolts, just remove these from the casing. Screws, either push through or unscrew, whatever you've got to get to do to get it to come out. Make sure you get all your nuts and bolts out. Do I need to short out in there? Okay, and this is what you're left with. Basically, is all you've got left now is your power feed in, uh, which is earthed in the middle, direct to your casing. A lot of folks don't use this, but it's on there regardless. And then, let's say we're going to have negative this side and positive this side. Now, on some of these, uh, you may find you've only got one wire off each. Um, this one, it hasn't. A lot of them haven't. As long as they've got two wires off each, there's nothing you need to change. But if it has got one wire off each, so all you need is a short piece of cable. So I'm just going to bear it back a bit. Same the other side. If it has only got one on each side, what you'll have to do, if, as long as you've got two spare holes, which most of them have, you're going to push a piece of cable in each side. probably going to be a bit thick for this, but this is all I add, so it's 
turn down a bit. So then just made a little bit of cable. I've just bridged across the two, gotta pull him, make sure he's tight, and I just bend him over a little bit. So I say you've only got to do that if you've only got a single. If you've got two coming off each one, it's fine. Uh, if you've only got one you can try it, but you may find the bulb will only work upside down. Right, so this is what we're left with. Uh, this side, so all we could do now is run a length of cable from the live up to join this which is your feeds all into one side so I'll just get a bit of cable spare back the ends of it Make sure he's good and tight, he ain't going anywhere. There's little clips in the sides of these, sometimes you can. Try and tidy it up a little bit. What we're going to do now is put this into the uh, positive side. It's all tight. Okay, so that's your positive, that's one side of the bulb uh, connected, so all we need to do now is connect the other side, which is a negative, so these are in bunches of two, which are going to become four. Make sure they're right in so there's no uh, copper showing. Tighten them up. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, doesn't matter really which side you use, you can have positive this side or negative this side. Uh, in this demonstration, I run the positive up to this side and then I run the negative to that side. The earth is direct to the casing. I'd say most boats don't use it. This is for 12 and 24 volt only, and this should be carried out by a qualified electrician. Um, obviously there's only a bit of guidance, it's up to you if you feel you're competent then that's your choice. Just plug back in, I'll just grab two LED bulbs in a second. Okay, now we're going to change this over to uh, LED. I'll just show you the bulb. These have got 144 chips in each one. It's 10 watts LED, which is actually brighter than 2 times 20 watt fluorescent and uses a lot less power. As you can see, they just fit straight in. I'll just give you the measurement for it. The measurement for these tubes, so if I measure from there to there which is uh, 59 centimetres just uh, 23 and a quarter inches and they're 28 mil thick not that the thickness really uh, would matter too much just to recap zoom in on there Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to replace the cover, same as usual, so reconnect the power, switch it on, a bit of luck, it'll all light up.
we are, you can see it's uh, now working direct off LED bulbs. I'll just show you uh, what I'm running this system on. See if I can switch on this number three button. Just going to uh, off, back on, off, back on. Okay, leave it on. What I'm doing, I've just basically fed these off a bank of batteries like you'd have on the boat uh, via a fuse switch. So these will work direct off uh, 24 volt or 12 volt DC. I'd say this this should really be uh, carried out by a qualified marine electrician. That's on your recommendation. If you are uh, competent to do it, then that's fine. These also backed up with a 12 month parts warranty. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped. And I wish you a good day.